What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the crafting guide, and what this mod does is it adds a book to Minecraft that shows you every single recipe to craft everything in Minecraft. Um, it goes down to even showing you how to make all the potions. It has literally every single crafting recipe in the game. So let me go ahead and hop in my world, and I will show you it. So here's the book, I have it in my hand right now, let me go ahead and make it full screen and when you have the book in your hand just go ahead and right click and there you go it brings it up so you can see there's a huge amount of stuff literally everything is in here now you can go into a filter and just go ahead and click on set item and say you want to look at stuff that's only crafted with like wooden planks so here you go here's all the stuff that can be crafted with the wooden planks as well as um, other materials you could also search for things so say I type in diamond and it'll show you all the diamond stuff so if I click on a diamond hoe it'll teach me how to craft a diamond hoe and then you go ahead and click clear and it'll reset it all and this right here and it's um, just by the crafting type I'm not really sure how this works. It's um, not really all that clear. But what I'm guessing is since some of these are translucent and this one only has like the crafting table, then it'll show you stuff that's crafted only with the crafting table. And this one will show you what's crafted with the furnace and the um, potion table. And then this one is just all of them. That's what my guess is. I'm not too sure. Um, that's the only thing that I would like uh, say that's negative about this mod is it doesn't have things properly labeled um, all the way through it but the creator of the mod said he's working on the API to um, have everything labeled so eventually these will be labeled and you'll know exactly what they do so that's pretty much the crafting guide let me go ahead and show you how to create it so come over to this crafting table so you need four pieces of paper, four books, and a crafting table. So you take the four pieces of paper and put them in the corners as so. Then take your books and put them around like that. And then put your crafting table in the middle. And there you go, you got your crafting guide. So that is pretty much what this mod does. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of the game. And I now need to clear, clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Mod Loader and the Crafting Guide mod itself. So to get Mod Loader and the Crafting Guide mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first for the Crafting Guide, if you go ahead and scroll down past these two screenshots, here's all the information on the mod, um, how everything works and then go ahead and scroll down to current version and you can either download it from AdFly or AdCraft I'll go ahead and just show you the AdFly and then it'll say please wait usually makes you wait five seconds it's lagging out here we go after the five seconds is up is a yellow button saying skip ad will appear you go ahead and just click on that and it'll automatically download the mod now for mod letter, go ahead and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod letter 1.1 and you can either download it from Adfly or Direct, whatever you prefer to do. If you download it from Direct, as soon as you click on it, it will go ahead and just automatically download the mod. So that is how you're going to download everything that you'll be installing. When you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here, and then go ahead and open up your roaming. Now open your .minecraft, go into your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Okay, and your bin, we won't need this open anymore so you go ahead and just close that. So once you have your minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up mod loader and highlight all these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close mod loader. Now open up the craft guide and highlight all these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar 
and hit OK. And again, go ahead and close your craft guide. Now, in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, it's okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it, select delete files, and then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you always delete MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and just close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.